Hi everyone, my name is Catherine. How's everyone doing today? I've been looking for my friend Bowie. Can you help me find him? On the count of three, let's yell, oh Bowie. Ready? One, two, three. Oh Bowie. I'm coming. Hi kids. Great to see you all today. Hi Bowie. Hi. Today we are gonna be learning about how only God can change lives. And we're gonna be hearing this amazing story about how Jesus healed a man that was born blind. Wow, this sounds like an amazing story. I can't wait. Before we get started, let's start with our memory verse. Do you wanna say it together, Bowie? Sure. All right, on the count of three, are you ready? For nothing, nothing will, will be, be impossible, impossible with, with God. God. Luke, Luke 1, 37. Let's do it one more time, ready? For, For nothing, nothing will, will be impossible, impossible with God. God. Luke, Luke 1, 37. Great job. Are you ready to hear today's Bible story now, Bowie? I'm ready. All right, here we go. One day, Jesus and all of his disciples were walking together when they saw a man that was born blind. Let's put our hands over our eyes so that we can't see. Bowie? Yeah. Bowie, I can't see you. Oh no. Oh no. This man was born blind and hadn't been able to see for his whole life. Why? Why was this man born blind? That's a good question, Bowie. And the disciples asked Jesus the same thing. Jesus told them that it was not anybody's fault that he was born blind because God was going to show his power through the man's life. Only God could make the blind man see. What did Jesus do? Jesus stood in front of the blind man. Then Jesus bent down and spit on the ground and made mud. Jesus made mud? Wow, then what did Jesus do? Then Jesus spread the mud all over the blind man's eyes. Jesus put mud over the blind man's eyes? Yeah, it sounds kind of gross, huh, Bowie? Yes. But Jesus then told the man to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed in the pool, just like Jesus said. And all of a sudden, he could see. My goodness, it's a miracle. He could see people and, and beautiful trees and, and birds. Yes, Bowie. The man was so excited about what Jesus had done for him, and he believed that Jesus was the Son of God. He told the people around him how Jesus made the mud, and when he washed it off, he could see. Now let's watch the video of our story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he saw a man who was born blind. Hey, Jesus! His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! The man's neighbors and others who knew him as the blind man wondered if this was the same man is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's me. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Well, that's what happened. The people asked, where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. How about you? So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? 
And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hi there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped Jesus. Wasn't that amazing? Only God can change lives, just like he changed the life of the blind man. Jesus is God's son, and he can do amazing things. I want to tell all my friends about Jesus. That's right, Bowie. Sometimes we face challenges in our lives, just like the blind man did. But if we trust in God, amazing things can happen. He can change our lives in ways that we can't even imagine. Now, speaking of amazing things, remember our Only God piggy banks? How many of you have been saving your money in them? I've got mine. I, I have been doing chores and, and helping my mom and dad to earn money to put in my piggy bank. Great job, Bowie. That's amazing. These piggy banks remind us to save our money. When we save our money and we give it to God, we can help others and do something amazing for our church. And we can make a difference too, right? That's right, Bowie. We can make a difference. God is gonna use our money to do some awesome things. So keep saving your money and remember that only God can change lives in amazing ways. Let's pray and thank God for how he changes lives. Dear God, thank you for the way that you change our lives. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we could have a relationship with you. I pray that you use each one of us to save up our money and trust in you with all of our lives so that we can see how you can change everybody's lives around us. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. All right, you guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to keep using your piggy bank. Bye. Bye.